Good morning students I hope you all are fine today we will discuss chapter 1st of history the rise of nationalism in europe fredrik sorio vision of world fredrik sorio a french artist in 1848 prepared a series of four prints visualizing his dreams of world made up of democratic and social republics in the first print he shows the people of europe and america marching in a long train and offering homage to the statue of liberty as they pass it the torch of enlightenment was carried by a female figure in one hand and the charter of rights of man in other in the second vision on the earth in the foreground lie the shattered remains of symbols of absolutist institutions third in sorius utopian vision the people of the world are grouped as distinct nations identified through their flags and national costume fourth the possession was led by united states and switzerland followed by france and germany following the german people are the people of austria kingdom of two celsius lombardy poland england ireland hungary and russia fifth from the heavens above christ saints and angels gaze upon the scene they have been used by the artist to symbolize fraternity among the nations of the world during the 19th century nationalism emerged as a force which brought huge changes in the political and mental world of the world the end result of these changes were emergence of the nation state Our next topic is the French Revolution and the idea of nation. In 1789, nationalism came with French Revolution and the political and constitutional changes led to the transfer of sovereignty from the monarchy to a body of French citizens. Various measures and practices were introduced such as the ideas of la patrie, the fatherland and le citoyen, the citizen. A French flag, the tricolor was chosen to replace the former one. democracy destroyed in france by napoleon and the civil code of 1804 known as napoleonic code did away with all the privileges based on birth established equality before the law and secured the right to property